Okay, my friends. Yes, I'm fixing this beautiful butterfly that was given to my great niece at the fair. And she broke it very shortly after it was purchased for her. And I'm going to fix it. I've got it apart. It's a basket case. <laughs> and we're going to we're going to just tilt our heads kind of in prayer. And we're going to put this bad boy back together again. First thing we got to do though is solder this lead to this battery tube. I know, yikes, eh? There's a wire sticking out of here, right there. And it has to go with the spring going in. So let's get it all moved over to the iron. Just like that. Harder to do than it looks. Get a, get a good gob of solder on there. I hope you guys can see over this way. No, you can't, eh? There. Now, got a good gob of solder on the end. And now, once we get this attached, electrical light to there. That sound is a battery charger. Then we're going to be able to uh, continue the repair of said item. Not going to make it. <coughs> oh my gosh, it did. Well, I'm not going to muck with it. Okay. So the next important thing is the plate that made that holds this on here. And we're going to use Gorilla. Now let's just get this out of here so I don't burn a little hole in the end of my elbow. We got any gas sitting now? No, I do not. Isn't that good? Okay. So now. I'm good at this kind of stuff. Okay, so what do we do? We, we need contact there and there for sure. There, there, there and there. No, we're just going to put this somewhere where it's going to sit still for half an hour, or not even. <laughs> this is what you call a not made that well device, right? I'm going to just extra secure it to screw things up too. Good. Now if I can get it to not stick to my finger. Now I truly believe in my little heart that this foil is part of the uh, current carrying capacity of this crazy thing. I'm just going to hold that down like that for now. going to work. Still bouncing. Oh no, that wire goes right through, eh? Wow. So let me just uh, get a small clamp. Clamp, clamp, clamp. 
small clamp and we'll just clamp this for a half an hour. Good. That is going to work. Oh, no, it didn't. Popped out. Dirty dog, yeah. Good. We'll train you on. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can, because I can't tell if you can or not. Okay. First part. Watch this, guys. Hey, Klaus. Great guys dancing. Okay, now we got to get it back together. Okay, my friends, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hopefully you can see this. Look at that. It's different cycles. And then we go full blast. The kids say, Uncle Bruce can fix anything. Now we just got to get it back together, guys. <laughs> uh, no. We're going to put the, get, put it back together hot, too. So I soldered that end on and then crazy glued it right there. Good. And then the lid. Well, the battery's going next, I believe. You know what? They might go in partially, actually. These screws don't come out. Oh, partially. Oh, that didn't look good. Here comes Mrs. P with some more precious stuff to fix. <laughs> All right. So now we're trying to uh, attach the batteries. Kind of, sort of. I don't know how far to take it. But now we lay this in here. That obviously belongs there. And then this little circular guy. Imagine somebody was paid a wage to do this, eh? Probably not a very good wage. No, the button's not clearing the ha the obstacles. Uncle Bruce has patience for this kind of stuff, though. Okay, let's have a look at that. It has a V. And that has a V. I think it comes in from the top. I know that's Japanese, right? I see. Okay, that's got to recess. Wow. I'm 
I'm believing that this comes in from the side. I think it's raised up on this side and raised up. So I think it, does it come in upside down like that? Maybe it does, guys. Because it has to be pushed in. Come on. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got a problem here with the manual finger. Nope. Just above. Oh, I see. It sits in there. Good. Holy moly. Have you guys ever seen anything so, uh, let's say, wonderful? We're there now. Can you believe it? And the perunners. Okay, there's not that many screws to hold this guy together, actually. There's two bigger screws right here that go in the butterfly wing. This may have more significance to someone from another culture, eh? Nope. What about this one? We may have to crazy glue these screws together. And that one holds. Now, as far as I... Oh, there's little broken tabs and stuff all over the place here. Good. Oh, we got her. We got it, Uncle Bruce. I hope you guys can see some of this. It's really, this is not your average repair, my friend. So this screw is just stripped. And this one is not. So we're going to try a longer screw. And I've got all kinds of screws. So, we're actually going to do a bit of, a few dabs of crazy glue as well. Oh yeah, that one has failed. That screw has failed. So that screw hole is stripped, right? I'm gonna get that screw out of there and get a slightly bigger one or stick a little glue on it. Now, there's a very good likely chance that this, this could get broken 15 seconds after it's given back to its original owner. She's two. Gives you a better appreciation for dentists, eh? That should come. Funny, eh? When you want to break it, you can't. I think some, you know the little tiny screws that hold computer boards together? I think that would be the thing to use here. Why can't I grab that? Oh my gosh, I need a break. Where's the last screw? That's for the battery compartment, eh? Be right back. Okay, I need the tiniest of tinies. 
I've taken a few computer boards apart. These ones are too big. These ones might work. Look at that. So I don't have everything sorted as per size. Let's just use the lid for the coffee can on this guy. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have a, sort, a good supply of small screws. We just have to get this evil one out here. The one is grabbing and one isn't, right? Oh, I need a bit of pair of needle nose pliers. I might have to buy myself a pair. There, yay! Got it! Okay, now we're going to replace that guy with one of these. If it'll go. We need a little bit more length, but not too big a head size, right? That's a bigger, that's probably too big a head size, but it might work. Nope. Now I got to get it out, eh? Magnet. Strong one. Hey, how can I open oh, I gotta pull this back and then open it up. Got it out. So we need a longer one. Ooh, I got longer ones, but I don't have really long ones. Yeah, this is a good we'll see how we do here with these guys. Oh, that's a micro switch, isn't that cool? I can't use that up. Part of my dad's stuff. Although he would love it if I used it. Let's just do a search for a super small screw. So small. That almost looks like the same one that just came out of there. We're gonna get brave. This is like Loctite for junk. I mean, for well made little toys for girls. Drop one. We got more than one. Okay, we'll get some on my fingers. That's the first thing you do with crazy glue is you get it on your fingers, right? Okay, I'm going to stick that down in there. And we're going to tighten that up. And then we're going to put that over top like that. Is that tight over here? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's just take a little bit of this overall goodness stuff. Good. Now are we tight? We're tight there, there, there. Let's just see if we're physically tight. As tight as I dare tighten them up, right? This one is not tightening up. There it is. Good. Now, one more screw left, and that's the door for the battery. Oh, did I just drop it? No. Okay. Door for battery. There's two, is there two screws for this? I can't see it. No. That's just a stud. So we shove that in there like that. And then back again, right? I guess that's it. Yep. Uncle Bruce figured this out all, all by himself.
Wow, that's quite the thing, eh? Uncle Bruce fixed it. Now, do we augment with some uh, crazy glue? I don't know. I don't really want to do this again, but I got a real strong suspicion that it's going to come back. Okay, we got a screw there, screw there, screw there that's going to hold, a screw there that's holding, sort of, kind of. I know what we're going to do. We're going to get brave. It needs some rigidity. Did you see what I did there? Good. And then, will this hold tight enough? Yep. We're going to just do a little bit. I mean, it's, it's just about impossible to hold together, right? And then we take this cramp. And stick it on there like that. Oh. Now, test. Let it dry. A little bit of crazy glue on that screw port again right there. Oh, I hope it lasts more than 30 seconds. Hey, isn't that something? Okay. There's got to be... There's got to be a white guy dance to this, right? Okay. I don't know how many more repairs it's got in it. But it's done. We'll just leave that little guy on there for the crazy glue on the battery compartment. I'm surprised it came apart at all. I gotta take a... Are we off? Yes, this is my lifetime supply of teeny tiny screws, along with a few bags of even teenier and tinier screws that you just saw. There, fix the widget. I also just put on a, the, the, the sixth eye to a dinosaur. Oh, that's, hard to, that's hard to explain. Thanks for watching.